Until 2017, the US Navy were the only force in the world to operate the EA-18G Growler. Then Australia acquired 12, which they're rather proud of. The Growler's job is essentially to electronically jam enemy radar systems. The Australians brought four of theirs here to exercise red flag in Nevada. Their motto is, we shall return, and their insignia says it all. Hey, you doing? Meet Absolutely. Flight hey, Lieutenant uh, Jacob uh, Murphy, who's yeah, going to show us around. So this is an electronic attack platform, um, and we use that in order to, de to defend ourselves and our uh, coalition partners. Um, so the way we do this is through two means, both kinetic and non-kinetic. So our primary kinetic weapon is the um, AGM-88 Echo, and so we use this to take out ground, ground targets, particularly radars. We also have the non-kinetic means, which is ALQ-99 pod, and so we can configure that pod to attack a range of different targets. The way we achieve this from the aircrew front is we have a pilot in the front who drives the plane and gets it to where it needs to be in the tactical picture, and then we have the electronic warfare officer, and, and they control all of the weapon systems and the uh, ALQ-99 pod. The EA-18G Growler was developed based on the airframe and the flight control systems from the FA-18F Super Hornet and the US Marine operated Prowler. So what they did was they took all of the hardware and all the flight control systems, engines, hydraulics, essentially everything that gets it up in the air and, and fighting, took out the 20 mil cannon and uh, added the electronic warfare platform um, and, that, and that's how we get the Growler. Work on the EA-18G Growler is quite special because we're the only squadron outside of the US Navy who actually operates these. So when, when we're working here at Red Flag, it's actually, it's, it's quite exciting. We have, we have a really good relationship between us and VAQ-135 who are also here. Um, and so what, what we find is we often, we share parts, we share bits of tool and equipment, and, and it shows that our nations and especially the you know, Australian, British and Americans can really work together well um, in order to you know, deliver the missions that we need to.